And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Swain. That's right, we're playing these two awesome champions with Bilgewater where we have our self damage unit. So we have these cards like Krusty Codger that has play deal two to me, Boxtopus play deal three to me, um, Fortune Croaker whenever you play you deal one to it and deal one to an ally to be able to draw one. So these things, these are damage that's being dealt to your units and your units are surviving. So that's gonna be clutch with both of our champions. Not only will we have our allies survive damage to be able to help level up Vladimir, but then also all that damage does count as non-combat damage for leveling up Swain. So that's kind of the, the combo here. We also have, you know, we're gonna be a Crimson Curator deck where Crimson Curator plus Fortune Croaker just seems really awesome where you deal one to the the curator and then you draw a card but then you also get to create um a random crimson unit so it basically turns it into a draw two so that's really cool so we're gonna have that combo plus we're gonna have legion veteran whenever any of your allies survive damage give it plus one plus zero so all of these things that are surviving damage that are dealing damage to itself will all have an additional plus one plus zero also with our legion veteran and then we have the big payoff for all of this is going to be Citrus Courier. Hopefully we have Plunder turned on. Um, you know, maybe with the Vladimir attack, maybe with Sprayfin dealing damage or Make It Rain or something that, like that. But if we have Plunder turned on, then we get to play Citrus Courier. We can heal all of those allies, that, those self-damage allies, three, and rally. So Citrus Courier is like our big payoff for this. So we've got three of those in here. And then, of course, our top end, we just have Leviathans to go with Swains because that's just amazing. And then we have Riptide Rex basically because that card's amazing. Um, Sprayfin gives us a little card advantage, just like the Fortune Croaker, and I guess Leviathan gives you some card advantage as well. And that's that's the deck. So we'll see how it does. We'll see how Vladimir and Swain do together. We're going to just try it on over in at normal because it's meme tier Tuesday. <laughs> Usually we just do one meme tier day a week on Mondays, um, but sometimes we get two meme tier days in a week, and that's going to be one of these uh, weeks right here. All right, let's see. We're playing against Burn. Make it rain, good against Burn. Um, I guess I mulligan Sprayfin. Maybe Sprayfin's a little slow, but it could find another make it rain for us. You know what? No, let's just keep it. I like I like 4-5. I like that. I like Boxtopus and its ability to... Uh, yuck, that's good. Its ability to uh, deal with, like, a Draven. And then I think I just cast make it rain this next turn, just right now, and just kill these two things. Else? <laughs> Citrus Courier. All right, so let's just get rid of those while we know we can. So now we're evened up on cards 5-5. Five, five. Wow. Well, make it rain would have been good. Time for the main event. There's always fight in it, Hans Pablo. All right. <laughs> Their deck's pretty good. Ouch. Sprayfin can't really block any of these things. So I guess I lead with Legion Veteran. The reason why Sprayfin can't really block is because of these spinning axes. I guess Sprayfin has a good chance of drawing another Make It Rain. Let's look for another Make It Rain. So I block like Teemo, they use spinning axes for the Teemo, then I respond and go fervor, kill my Sprayfin, kill the Jinx. Oh, are they just... They're just emptying their hand right now. Level of Jinx. It 
doesn't look good. Swain could be good. We live here. So Swain will be leveled up and it'll be a 4-7. Oh. Their hand was not bad. Yeah, I think I think that's a fair assessment. Their hand was not bad. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Because now with that noxion fervor not happening, now my swain's not leveled up. I need them to be scared and not block. And then I do damage this to them. And then I play Citrus Courier. But even then, we're still dead. That arena is really cool. Very underplayed card. Alright. We'll Mulligan, Riptide Rex, and I guess a Spray Fin. It's a little slow having two Spray Fins, but I don't know. Spray Fin's just great. Maybe we should keep that. Second spray fin. <laughs> Captive with the Twitch Prime sub. Bring that hype. Thank you so much, our fourth sub of the day. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. There's always fighting it wants Pablo. Attack. Alright, we'll take that trade. All of our cards costing four is a little bit of a downside. Probably. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Up there in the mountains! I'm fighting to do. I'll just pass. Probably don't need to get that attack in. We fight for one prayer yard. Congratulations. You gotta believe me! I've embarrassed fools twice your size. Is this the death you imagine? Not really. War teaches us all. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, so both of our things stay alive. Every scar a lesson learned from that. They probably just block both of these if I just attack with both of them. Keep up, keep up. Let's play the spray fin. We got a 5 1 challenger now. Thanks to these Legion veterans. The Ooh, you scruff. Mm. Yeah, couldn't really protect against that card. War teaches us all. So even if I would have done that proactively, that card still would have. Darn. That looks of iron too. So my plan is so my plan was there to, to turn the ash into one health. Only the finest, sir. And then I cast Mega Rain and then cast Citrus Courier. Doesn't do the damage to them, though. 
that was my plan, but then obviously the Elixir of Iron stopped that plan and, and we didn't do any damage to them without making it rain. A true Falyorian welcome. Yeah, boss. That would have been nice to do damage to them. It's not always nice. We need some defense out here. <sighs> Came to wrong place. You can't do this. I've embarrassed fools twice your size. Go back or under. Yeah, we talked about the patch notes. I didn't I didn't do like a, a YouTube video for for it with it just being the two changes. I think they were both good changes with make it rain and Lee Sin. I was pretty surprised that there weren't more changes to be honest. But I guess they said they're gonna be changing a lot of stuff in the next balance patch update. Yeah, I was. Yeah, that was. Yep, yeah, I was calling the Make It Rain one. Um, yuck. Only kills two things. Really needed to kill three, or at least needed to kill Ash and something else. Fortunately, they drew a couple ashes. Ashes to ashes. And another loss for us. The world awaits. Forward. <laughs> even, like none of these two drops will even die to Culling Strike anymore. You know, like their last couple two drops they played, because the Ash only needs to attack, level up, can't block. So this matchup here with Tom Kench and Soraka is the reason why I have a Culling Strike in the deck. I know it's just the one, but it's a matchup that I felt that needed um, needed a cooling strike with us just trying to attack and deal damage and stuff like that. All right, so we got Fortune Croaker for the first time. This card's pretty cool. Deal one to me and an ally and draw a card. I like it. So we're doing a good job leveling up our champions. And there's a champion. This world has such great potential. So I pass. Stars fall. Live with purpose. So I should have just attacked for two before the Sirak came down. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Please don't have Tom Kench. I think we all know how this plays out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I you do. I said your payment! Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Do we have a spell in the deck? Or did I only put units in here? So we'll spray fin it, draw, culling strike. There's a chance, there's like a one out of nine chance. Keep up, keep up. Maybe I should just be going with Swain. Yeah, maybe I should just play Swain and then I'd have Ravenous Flock for the other one. Plenty of room inside. Could be worse. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Running out of time. Come on in. So these dealing damage are those are leveling up our swain. 
All right, so now I have Ravenous Flock and Fervor to try to kill Tom Kench. Oh. You leave me no choice. Take heart. Is this the death you imagined? I guess I should block. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't block. I mean, as just one astral protection, and we don't get to kill that, do we? I don't think so. Astral protection is plus eight. My things deal seven damage. Stop. I don't know if I can play around that too much. The astral protection. Like if it's Bastion, we can we can try to kill it through Bastion right now. Guess I'm going to try. Hooray! Yeah, Boxtopus would would have leveled up the Swain, um, but now we get to just go straight to attacks with Swain with this with it being leveled up here, and we get Sprayfin comes back, summons, we get something else. Cool, we'll get to make it rain. This is one's a play though; it's not a summons. We don't do anything with Fortune Croaker. Just attack with you, to start with. And then my, my plan is Citrus Courier. Hmm. Hush is still good. So they are taking it, so... Probably wait till next turn for Citrus Courier. Because, you know, I want to be able to attack with Swain with the Citrus Courier. So I guess we wait till next turn. I found my family, my bloodkin. And try to make it rain. Go make it rain, Courier. I don't change fate, but I can see it. So I'll do this combo to draw two. I see you this first in your week. Oh, my. All right, they got a Pablo. Ooh, Leviathan. Thanks, Cabo. Thanks for the donation deck. For a deep deck. Mm. We got the enemy Nexus. Little life. For life. Live and we got stunned. So is Courier better than Leviathan? Alright, maybe not necessarily Courier better than oh, Leviathan. But it's Meme Tear Monday. Tuesday edition. No, a 6-6. Six, six. No. No, stop. I'm still good to scrap. We need to challenge the 6-6 six, six because we want the Swain to hit him. <laughs> yeah, Meme Tear Monday, Tuesday edition. They're over here like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Shakedown. That thing has burst? Yeah. That's mean. By starlight. That just feels like a card that'd be slow. Personal. Through the coral. Where are you off to? 
You can't do this. Not my first gunfight. Yeah, they could have killed Pablo with that, and then I wouldn't have been able to challenge. I will. But yeah, now it just goes back to me. I get the attack token again. And there we go. Vladimir Swain. My comfort and only one way. I don't, I don't think there's any reason for us to play Jake down. And just like the benefits you get from it aren't much with the two vulnerable. Are we keeping Legion Veteran Vladimir? 4-5? Maybe we just keep Vladimir. Mulligan the rest. Looks like we did keep Legion Veteran, Vladimir, and Leviathan. We did keep a 4-5-8. I feel like I should have mulliganed some of these expensive cards, but I guess I didn't. Everyone Hooray! Fortune Croaker! That goes good with Curator. And Vladimir. Vladimir is fun to say. What's that name? Vladimir. That's a good word. Soraka. It's a good one too. Tarek. Eh, not as good. Swain. Eh, not as good. I'll take Vladimir and Soraka. I guess three syllables is the is the place to be. Everyone here, let's go. Let's go home. I think that's a good thing to just get rid of. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Kind of feeling like lead going with Swain this turn. So looking what they're what they got. Like if they're planning on like Soraka or Tarek or the two seven, like none of those things block Swain. I think we go with Swain. Even though it's only at zero out of six. And I could have just attacked for seven. But I feel like Swain's gonna do six damage to them. Okay. Or it'll be silent. Back to Swain. I bring clarity, glory, courage, excuses for war. Love the box to puss. So that's two mana, so I got five other mana, so I got like Crimson Curator plus Fortune Croaker. Let's go with the Fortune Croaker first. Let's do this. That's what's up. Hey, yep, yep, it's the combo from yesterday. Yeah, we played against somebody that played these two cards yesterday, Crimson Curator and Fortune Croaker, and I was like, man, that looks fun. I want to do that. And so we built this deck. Try it out ourselves. They're still just passing. What's their plan, stun? Our Boxypus is a 4-1 because of the Legion Veteran. So can also challenge the Taric. But see, we have just as many cards in hand as they do. They have seven cards in hand. We also have seven cards because of these Fortune Croakers with Crimson Curator. So we have just as many cards. And we have six things in play. Guiding Touch. You didn't want to just try that like at the beginning of the turn and just see if you get like another blocker to play. What's the harm of just doing that immediately? Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. You can't destroy a landmark. It's a pretty cool 
cool animation of that landmark being destroyed. So we have more cards in hand still, <laughs> and all this stuff. Praise the Noctora. Remember this day. Vi Tarek, another Tarek deck. We're going to keep this Culling Strike for Tarek. Hello. I think we keep mulligan those two. Alright, look at us mulliganing. Or sorry, not mulliganing, but uh, leveling up our champions right away. So the Krusty Codger... Already does one sixth of Swain and one sixth of Vladimir by itself. It's good deck building. There's always fight in eight punch, Pablo. <laughs> so they got a gem. My family, my bloodkin. Yeah, we got a curve over here. Bring up the who you we scruff. My wind streak. Oh, assembly bot so cool. Hmm. Pill cascade. Counters that. I help build this empire. So I guess, and this assembly bot's just gonna kill us. Is definitely gonna kill us. I like the transfusion draw. We're going to just attack here with the transfusion available. Playing Vladimir this turn. Right, we gotta get Vladimir in play. I'm doing this my way. How about the highway? I dress for the occasion in red. I don't need a plan. Please. All right, Vladimir and Vladimir transfusion. So it's four to six. became a soldier. Maybe we have the surprise box boxtopus that they won't be ex expecting. Legion veteran only affects other units, not itself, as far as it's whenever another ally survives damage, give it plus one plus zero. It doesn't affect itself whenever it survives damage, give it plus one plus zero. I'm still good to scrub. No, they're whenever no they whenever they blocked the Crimson Curator with the assembly bot, their thing had five health at that point. Oh, 
So we are two away from leveling up Swain. Vladimir dealt one damage to the Swain, but then um, also dealt one damage to their Nexus. So that was the two damage that leveled up the Swain. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Make it rain is going to cost three mana going forward. Instead of two. All right, so there we go. Vladimir Swain, three and two. And um, a pretty good three and two. And definitely, you know, like we won our last three there. The deck definitely started to look better. We started to draw a little better. Um, our opponents didn't have like the best possible kind of stuff. It wasn't like super fast aggro killing us. Fortune Croaker looked great. Boxtopus looked great. Um, Krusty Codger was just a fine one drop leveling up our stuff. We got that quick level up with Swain and Vladimir. Because that was pretty cool. Like with that game, we just curved out one, two, three, four, and then five with, you know, five uh, and six with like Vladimir and Swain. I guess we took off one, tur one turn to play a transfusion. Um, but... But we were just uh, you know, leveling up Swain and Vladimir without spending like a whole bunch of time playing all these spells, like all these non-combat damage spells and everything like that. You know, like just these things really added up. Two from Codger, three from Boxtopus. You know, like those things add up very quickly to level up Swain. Um, you know, then you have like one from Transfusion, and you know a couple from Vladimir attacking. So that was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And then you know topped it off with Leviathan that last game. Really shows what our deck is about. Um, I liked it. I, I thought this one was pretty fun. And, I, and it's not that far away from being a, a ranked deck or anything like that, too. We could probably take this one over to ranked. But I wanted to try it out here first on a Meme Tier Tuesday. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, other, other kind of decks you want to see on stream. Um... You know, anything like that. I always love seeing all those comments. Um, yeah, they, they help out the videos, too. They help share the videos and everything like that. So please leave those comments on all the videos. I appreciate it. But I also really appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you for the next video.